Hello. Happy Friday. That's what it is to me today when I'm recording this anyway. But happy day whenever this finds you. I am just going to give you a quick run through. I think I'm about half mid game now. Um, I think I'm about mid game. And I'll show you where I'm at in comparison to where I started. This is my beast warehouse. Let's see what you think. This is my copper area. Copper, there's some copper smelters. Um, here's um, copper ingot, copper wire, copper cable. Copper wire, I guess. This was my quick wire area up here of the world which is made out of another type of material. Anyway, I digress. Then, this is my containment setup. I'm sure maybe you remember from the beginning if you've watched any of my videos. Now it's all labeled. Finally got, I finally got my quartz up in my spider, spider den, which, which is amazing. I um, ended up putting a train right through the center of the building. What's up with that? Oh, it's an enemy. Huh. I just want my hard drives. I don't see the animals as enemies. But I, but some of these animals are running around with jetpacks on, which I don't get that. Like, and then the lady says that, like, maybe they're, maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're intelligent and they're just acting like animals. I don't know. Let's take a look around this situation I got going on. So, the beast basement is amazing, right? The spider, the spider den is equally as amazing, I think. commissioned two of my coal plants at this point. This is the beast's main floor. This is the this is the second story of the beast. Nothing up here. Got a lot of room for to grow. This is the main floor of the beast, and it makes everything. I mean, it makes everything, and it has a backup storage for everything, and it has a sign for everything. And check it out, I go down and get, I got these holes in the floor and stuff. It all does something. We've progressed. I'm in. I'm not putting up some battery backup towers and tanks, glassing in the walls, getting my train set up. I have no clue what the frick is going on with that. I gotta get this plant updated with new belts and stuff. This is, uh, that 
copper plant needs to be updated too. But they're not too bad. They're in, they're in decent shape. They just need to be rebuilted. Then let's uh Oh boy. Let's go out to the let's go out to the twelve unit coal plant. That's really not a coal plant anymore. Getting ready to decommission that too, if I could just get my The logistics are a bitch. Like a train running in a track you would think is simple, it's not. Especially when you have two tracks that intersect and and they trains get messed up, you don't know, it's, it's tough. I set up a few new vacuum tubes as well. This is a pretty cool ride right here. Now, this area I'm making, this power, turbo fuel, and what the heck else am I making? Oh, plastic. And my, the beast is hungry for some plastic. It eats plastic like it's going out of business. This is my refinery addition. Um, just more battery backup towers. I, this is how I'm disguising my backup battery backup system. So they're kind of everywhere throughout the maps because when shit starts going wrong, they should all start lighting up. No, no, that's you know a battery issue. Then welcome to my oil fields. I don't want to run out, you know. I got a lot of, a lot of stuff going. Want to make sure we stay in oil. Now, what's up with these things? Not running. Always, always comes back to these things, and then. This is me, I need to hit the turbo fuel, and I'm full on turbo fuel. It's like, um, this is distill, it's like distilling something, you know, it's like, the process, I gotta know how to get this going. Now this, this whole business right here gets loud. And then, you run into my... power generation back here which is pretty bad for me it's where this thing's flawless works flawless and I I got the stacks going out for the stuff so it's environmental you know don't worry about the workers they're fine alright got her rolling which is important because it all comes back to plastic. Are we making plastic? And we are, but not enough. Something's up. And then the turbo fuel problem, I mean, I think I got a bunch of it. Like, where? The train is supposed to pick this shit up. But, 
we have a problem with the train right now, so we don't know. And then, fine, get this going, because when that stops and the whole freaking works, it stops. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Now, this is making coke for the coal generators, but it's not going right now because... Why? I don't know. I'm at a quandary on that. I believe this probably is full, is what I can make the deal is. Same thing, I gotta probably get this going with. Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you burn all that residual fuel to keep all, to keep... Because, you gotta keep this stuff flowing so that you can get... Plastic. Oh, that seems to be a little quicker than it was. Now that is being delivered via truck back to the beast right here. And we're trying to keep that going, but... It's not easy. I'm in our train station here, which is loaded with turbo fuel, and it's supposed to load, but the damn train never picks the shit up, so I don't know if the train's broken right now. So, that is... It's looking pretty good. I mean, it's a work in progress. I'm probably going to decommission those coal units any time now. But, let's take a look at the spider den is off the chain. We're, we're coming to a situation where logistically like, the building and stuff is fine. I just saw a truck fly in space. Logistically, building stuff is fine. Getting stuff back and around the map is tough. Making roads around here is, you can see, is not an easy process. And we've seen nothing yet. Like this is a decent way to travel right here. I've been I made it kind of an epic ride. It's a long walk, otherwise it's fairly tre treacherous, the animals don't seem to, this is going to be my, that's going to be my weapons factory right there, uh, we're, we're, it's a work in progress because I have all my weapons right below this floor, or right above this floor right here going, it's pretty decent playing actually. So. The beast is something to behold. There's my weapons system right there. That whole setup. Then, you now I'm just not pushing everything hard enough because logistically I can't get everything here because I can't just can't get everything here because I can't transfer everything the way I want. My train's got a retard running it. And then this is going out to the spider den right here. Which is a long ways away if you have to walk it. Or even train ride it. Or even tube it.
my train systems are I, I built in the blueprint thing I built these like train depots that hang off cliffs and it works pretty good I use those steel beams a lot to help me get across stuff they plant into walls nice like this thing The trees are white today. When I'm pumping heavy, when I'm working hard, they turn brown and black. <laughs> then right under them, I'm in there, in the in the hole there. See, I'm under this tree here. It's not liking that. No, well, maybe not. Oh, that right, right through here. must be anyway you don't want to walk out here it's a freaking long haul you get sidetracked so this is just the roof of the train yard really or train area Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the one on this here. This area. This is um, the back of the spider den. Why the? F okay. So. Now, this setup is making aluminum. And I see what the fucking problem is. It's all tilted and bent. It's not gonna work. See, the, the flow of things matters, man. You know, wonder why they don't work. Well, it's because the flow is fucking off. Obviously. That makes a lot of material for even being screwed up. And then this takes this stuff here, which is the most rare resource in the game, and it makes um, this stuff for right here, which I'm full of aluminum solution and what I should be able to do is take that solution and get this thing going and make some stuff but I probably am full everywhere else too that's the whole that's the whole problem with the whole deal let's go Boom.
Light it up. Stupid coal. Frickin' train. I hear it. It's a cool, cool train, but... I mean, I had to get a different inventory just to make this work, because... Otherwise... You waste, could waste up ten years of your life doing this. There we go. Now that is making this aluminum solution scrap. Now welcome to the back of the spider pit. I'll show you around the place. It's changed a bit since last time you were here. for machines and stuff back in here. This is my house, actually. My, uh, crib is back up in here. We'll be moving soon, but for now, welcome to the spider den, as it used to be called. up in here as well. I don't know what exactly, but I do know that I have oil right there. And this looks like a pretty nice logistical hub to me. I mean, I don't know what to do with it exactly yet, but these spiders, they had a nice little setup. This will be I'm thinking I'll put all my crates and stuff right here, stack them all up in here, and then I got the train station right above us right here. That's my upstairs train station. That goes to this train depot, which is the top end of our, my base, which this is where the stupid turbo fuel is being utilized, which I have, it just, I have tons of it. Well, it looks like it's being delivered. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's full as can be. Maybe the train is delivering it. Looks like it is. That's awesome. It is. Because up here I have plans to make a massive um, power station right on the top of this. You know, this tree's been dying up since I got here. But with the, this power station burning turbo fuel, it's going to be basically look like this, but it's going to be a lot bigger. Yeah, and then um, welcome to the spider den. Now, we're gonna rock and rollin' for ya. This is taking my aluminum that's coming up right there. That right there is taking centurium, and that'll make quick 
wire and stuff. Then I got my... So then, anyway, the aluminum thing, it comes from that solution. Then it goes up into... Here, which then it gets made into aluminum plates. Now, in this area, we will, we are making quartz crystal something, processed crystals, which is really handy for everything. And it also makes silica, but we make so much silica down here. Yeah, like in this from just the. I think I'm I'm on full again. Oh yeah, I gotta just I gotta dump this stuff till I figure out what to do with it. Otherwise, I can't make. Otherwise, I can't make my uh. Aluminum. So, we're backed up. We're backed up with stuff. Is how it works. Then, I built these. I have been on a blueprint thing. I got like two or three different versions of this. Which basically through here is there these beams connect into the mountain when you're you know go to do a setup well that's cool because how the hell are you gonna you know I've been trying to figure out how am I gonna get this to, to work so I've been do, doing those and then they come right it comes in handy Am I gonna get back here? Come on. So the spider den has multiple entrances. So this is one. The one there's one up top by that train station. And I got. I thought I had one right here. Where's that? Oh, uh, this is that's it. This is the bottom. The bottom one. I'm gonna use that for. running conveyors set up in here, wouldn't you say? And I got room for expansion quite a bit. This, uh, this runs out to back to my oil field, which I could do a, um, refinery out here. And I'm kind of going that route a little bit, but... I got the oil flowing back to my crib. Right there. But my, uh... Where's the other side of this thing? It's over here somewhere. Wait, there's a train. The train just took off. Full, looked full. It's. I got. I just got geothermal too, so obviously that's gonna come in pretty freaking handy.
so that's where I'm at. Doesn't look like much, but we're trying. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think. I think the spider den's working out alright. See you guys later. Have a Merry Christmas.